Good afternoon everyone, welcome back with me again. Okay, so today or this time I will do motovlog again and I will drive you around here. This is the... we are entering John Abimanyu in Seminyak. And as you can see there are a few uh, accommodations that you can stay. That is Indigo Hotel in Seminyak. And here in front of us this is the Purisaron Seminyak. So I will drive you along uh, this street and also later I will go to Jalan Drupadi in Semenya guys. So let's go and see the situation. And now it's around uh, 3 o'clock. But I don't know this car is stopping here. Yeah? And here on the right side that is a nice villa as well. It is Anora Villa. So would you like to stay here maybe? And I have a request to drive past by Tijili Hotel in Seminyak so later I will show you the situations around there guys and here in this area nothing much is happening by this time still very hot uh, maybe most of the guests they are still in the, their hotel or at the beach maybe There is a small warung here. If you like to try Indonesian food, you can come to this area. Not really sure what happened in the front here. Yeah? The car moving very, very slow. Oh, well, look at this, guys. Looks abandoned, and then now they use it for a parking area. You know what uh, building is this? what company maybe they're planning to build a big hotel but not really sure seems it's been stopped for a long time and that in the front is Dua CC and they have the grandma's hotel so you can have your uh, lunch or dinner maybe here and this uh, hotel is quite famous also I remember last time or during COVID-19 they did like very very good promo so a lot of Indonesian they like to stay at that uh, grandma's hotel and here I will go to the left let's go to Jalan Drupadi guys and here on the right side this is part of the Kodiat Marriott in Seminyak it's also a nice hotel what do you think it's a good hotel isn't it the location is nice yeah it's very close to the beach. Well, unfortunately, this harmony still closed. I remembered last time I came here to drop my gas, but unfortunately, now they are closed. And there on the front is the Tijili guys on the left side here. They have unique design. So this is the Tijili the building and they have their uh, restaurants also I think here but I don't know it looks quiet huh? but the hotel is open and the front side of Tijili there is a small cafe here but so far in this area is very quiet they have mini mart so if you need to do some shopping you may do so Here they have the painting art and some small businesses on the left side and here on the right side they have the Destiny Hotel. Looks like a city hotel. I think this area or along Jalan Drupadi it's very quiet compared to um, other area like Jalan Champlum Tanduk for example. It's busier there at Champlum Tanduk. A lot of small businesses here on the right side, guys. A spa, tattoo studio, and they have what is this? Rose Murphy Irish Pub. Well, they have pub here also, but looks quiet, apparently. And here on the left side, there is a big hotel, Harris Hotel, Seminyak. 
you like to stay here maybe? And I have money changer, coffee shop, what else? This one is a local warung if you like to try Indonesian food. And I have restaurant or bar here. Well, it looks nice. I mean, the style is different. And what you can find along the street, there are a few cafes, but not so many as like at Jalan Kayu Aya. But if you go inside of the alleys, there are so many accommodations that you can uh, stay in this area, guys. What? Tourists carrying bintang, yeah? One box of bintang. Maybe we'll have party. There are so many small cafes or uh, restaurants in this area. And if you go inside like this alley, for example, like this, you will see so many accommodations, guys. You want to play pool? You can play here. That is a bar there. And that is a famous restaurant also here. It is the uh, Kilo Kitchen. The restaurant is open. So you can have your breakfast, lunch, dinner. And look at that. It's a nice gate of uh, villas. Here they have the coffee shop and spas and another spas here along the street there are so many spas yeah and the price is quite good uh, one hour massage is 70 80 thousand rupiah and you can uh, do some shopping as well a lot of shops in this area and this one probably will be new business yeah but i don't know what it looks like a restaurant and then they have their pool there inside and here is the laka chita guys i'm not least still quiet anyway uh, this time is normal quiet because the, it is three o'clock or 3 30 and if you go to the left you'll go to jalan kayu aya but this time i will drive you to the other side which is jalan krobokan Maybe not a lot of tourists uh, like to go to Jalan Krobokan eh, because nothing much there except for you that love to do some shopping, especially for the house decoration, for example. You see a lot of shops there, guys. They sell a lot of products for uh, house decoration, um, like bin bags, uh, furniture, and etc. And here is Mamasan Kitchen and Lounge. They had their renovation last time. I think now it's fully open. Well, look at this. Look at the traffic. It's really bad traffic jam here. So this is Jalan Raya Krobokan. It's stuck here. If you drive your own car, I don't think this area is good for you to, to drive because as you can see, it's really bad traffic jam. A lot of people are going to, let's say, to Tanah Lot, they will go to this uh, street, to Denpasar, to Changu, to, let's say, Batu Balik, they will come to this area, guys.
this is Geneva furniture. This one is very famous. You can uh, get a lot of furnitures inside and they have the second floor as well. So for you that asked me about this Geneva uh, furniture, they are open. So you can come from 9 a.m. until 8 p.m. Okay, so let's continue. Well, look at this, guys. Nice chairs. And what is this? Big wood carving. I cannot uh, show you the right side. They have a lot of nice stuff also. The view is blocked by the car. So difficult to see it. You need bin bags? You can come here. Okay, let's go to the left here and let's see a little bit in this area. And this is Jalan Braban in Seminyak, guys. Maybe anybody of you planning to stay around in this area, because there are some uh, hotels that you can stay also. A lot of uh, villas or private houses as well. So for long-term stay, I think this area you will see a lot of uh, availability. There in the front is Bali Royal Heritage. And this one is very famous, Capsule my capsule something like that but I can say this area also is not really busy yeah? it's quiet if you compare them let's say Jalan Raya Seminyak or Jalan Kayu Aya this, uh, this area is more relaxed so if you don't like to see a lot of traffic just by uh, your villas or your accommodations I think this area you can consider it as well they have Brazilian houses barbecue here guys you can go there and I'll show you the menu this is the menu they have regular one which is adult 285k and children is 165k and they have promo price what is this Wahoo adult 580k so would you like to come here maybe well since this one is a new place It's nice to drive in this area actually, there is no traffic jam. But of course it's not really, I mean, nothing much is happening here. Only accommodations or villas. On the left side, the right side, all our villas. They have spa here, Tisha spa. There is no like big restaurants or uh, supermarket for example it was restaurant here before but now it's gone and if you go to the left you'll go to Jalan Kayu Aya but this time I will drive you to the right a little bit more and this is Jalan Pangkung Sari guys but look at this there is a small area where you can do some shopping they have a lot of um, cafes small small cafes that you can go as well and here it looks bad still abandoned I don't know if it's uh, able to open again probably not yet because it looks really bad even the doors are broken the windows the glasses are broken as well so really sad
at this it's massive uh, project here let's see in the future what they are building and here also is quite famous place Basil kitchen even by this time there are some people enjoying their food there So, what do you think about this area guys? Would you like to stay around in this area maybe? I can say maybe this area is not the popular, uh, what you call that? Favorite maybe area for people to stay. Especially if you want to have like a short distance to go to Jalan Kayu Aya where there are so many cafes, restaurants, bars and etc guys. Okay, so that's all for short video today. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to support me by subscribing to this channel. See you again in the next video. Thank you very much and bye now.